They had always loved dressing up in skirts and playing with dolls. But for years the Ahalihi brothers did not tell anyone, including each other, just how much they were struggling with their gender. Finally, though, they opened up to each other and discovered they were going through the same battle, and both are now living as women. Jamie, 23, who kept her birth name, and Chloe, 20, who used to be called Daniel, said it was amazing to be able to help each other. It was a huge relief for me when Chloe told me because I felt like we were in it together, said Jamie, who is a bartender in Dublin. We had always been in it together from the start but we just didn't realize, I don't feel either of us has influenced the other, we were born this way. But I do think it's amazing that we're on this journey together. Chloe is my greatest supporter and doing it together has helped us both. Chloe, a hairdressing student, added, it's weird that we were both going through exactly the same thing and having the same thoughts about being transgender but just not talking to each other. She chose the name Chloe because Jamie had suggested as a child when she found out her mother was pregnant. Jamie explained that many of their childhood memories are of dressing up with t-shirts on their heads, to pretend they had long hair, or wearing them as skirts. But when they got to school and realized others did not do the same they kept it as our secret, Jamie came out as gay at the age of 14 and Chloe did so two years later, aged 13. At 16, Jamie started doing a drag act in gay bars. I realized how comfortable I felt dressed up, she said, adding, it's a cliche to say I always knew but I did and I just kept pushing it to the back of my mind. Meanwhile Chloe grew out her hair and started wearing makeup. She said, I was always one of the girls. Both sisters suffered from anxiety and depression as they struggled in silence. They finally discussed their feelings last August at the family home in Cork, before coming out to friends and family. Jamie said, I looked at Chloe and just thought you look so feminine and gorgeous. I asked do you think you're transgender? She said, yes I might be, and I said, I think I am too. It was very emotional for both of us. We sat and talked for hours and since then we've supported each other. Chloe added, we talk a lot about our transition and it is great to have each other. We know exactly how each other feels. The sisters, who have different fathers, are now preparing to start female hormone replacement therapy and plan to have gender reassignment surgery. They said their mother Sarah, 47, has been very supportive, adding, I don't think she feels she's lost her sons, we're still the same people just happier.